What's up everyone, John Rettinger here. This video is probably about 10 months in the making. For those of you that follow me on Twitter or watch my YouTube videos, you may have heard me mention Techno Buffalo, but I've been very secretive about details on it, and that's because it was under development. But now I am so happy and thrilled to finally share with you guys what Techno Buffalo is, what it's going to be, and more importantly, what it's going to do. So it's a website, technobuffalo.com, before I really get into the nitty gritty and kind of go through feature by feature about the site, it's very important that I introduce my business partner in Techno Buffalo. This is a guy who has kind of been with me from day one, that's helped me develop the ideas. You know, he's had a lot of the ideas himself, and we've been able to work together to kind of forge a vision and create the site that we both always imagined. And that's Brandon Miniman. You may have seen him do a couple of videos on my channel. He is currently the editor-in-chief at PocketNow.com, really the premier Windows Mobile resource. But more than just Windows Mobile, he is a tech head like me. He's very educated in the world of technology. He's very educated personally. He's a fantastic writer and is going to be a really solid addition to Techno Buffalo. The site and the launch really couldn't have been done without him. So really without further ado, I'm going to turn this over to Brandon, who's going to talk a little bit about the first feature of Techno Buffalo. Hey everyone, and thanks John. Techno Buffalo's first feature is all about the content. You know, there's a lot of fantastic tech websites out there, but they're mostly characterized by text and pictures. If you've ever watched a video review of anything tech related, you know that a video provides another dimension that you just don't get with pictures and text alone. So Techno Buffalo is going to have a lot of video content, whether it's an unboxing or a review or a comparison or a how-to on how to do something technology related. In addition, we're going to have weekly video shows. So we may have a show for digital photography enthusiasts, or we may have a show for the top five iPhone applications released in the last week, things like that. Of course, we will also have text content written by professional writers. Uh, for example, we may have articles on the best netbooks under $300, or how to know when to buy new technology. People are always wondering that, should I buy now? Should I wait three months? We're gonna address those things at Techno Buffalo. So now to talk a little bit more about the other features that Techno Buffalo brings is John. Thanks, Brandon. We're really excited about the original content on Techno Buffalo. I think it's going to be one of the differentiating factors that's going to separate it from the rest of the technology sites out there. The next feature that I want to talk to you about Techno Buffalo, and this is where some of the original ideas start to come about, is you'll have the ability to create your own sublogs. So when you log into the site and create your own username and password, you'll be able to make your own web page right off of the main site. So for me, for example, it could be technobuffalo.com slash john 4 lakers and I will have full WordPress customization, a full WordPress content management based on that site. So I can add writers, I can put up my own videos, I can put up my own content. And since we recognize that you're doing the work, you're putting up your own content, you're putting up your own ideas, you should be rewarded for that. So we're going to give you the ability to monetize your own technobuffalo.com sublogs. You can use AdSense or any other supported monetization tool that you choose. That way the money goes right into your account. We thought it was only fair. Since you're doing all the hard work, you should reap the benefits of it. So that's something we're really excited about at technobuffalo.com. It's the ability to have users create their own sublogs and be able to monetize them. And also on occasion, some of the content from these sublogs will be featured on the main page. We'll have featured blogs in our blog roll section, so you also get some exposure. So if you were to create your own website elsewhere, you have to pay for hosting and really learn how to create a site. Here it's already done for you, and we're going to help you get exposure, assuming the content is solid. So the next thing that I want to talk about, really the next determining factor of Techno Buffalo, is social network. We actually built a, from the ground up, social network into Techno Buffalo. It's not a freestanding social network. It is meant just to work hand in hand with Techno Buffalo. You have the ability to add friends, create and manage a profile, create and manage your own groups, have discussions, talk to each other via your, your wall posts, updates via to Twitter, everything that you could do on social network sites, you have the ability to do on Techno Buffalo including take advantage of our built-in instant messaging client where you can chat live with your Techno Buffalo friends. It's a feature we're really excited about. I think it's going to help augment the site. So if you go to Techno Buffalo and you read a post on the new iPhone 3GS, let's say you have a question on the new iPhone, you can log on into the social network with a single login 
and you can create a new group. iPhone 3GS questions and go ahead and ask and everybody that is looking at the site or looking at an article will see that there's been a new group formed and can join the discussion and help you answer your question. You can use it for gadgets, you can use it for trend, you can really use it for anything technology based that you want. I'm really excited to show this to you and give you a little bit more details on what the social network is going to do and show you the full capabilities of it. So I'm going to turn the camera over to Brandon to give you a little bit of history behind Techno Buffalo. And since you guys have been hearing us talk about it for so long, let him take you through the kind of the timeline and how he and I came to meet and how we came to this idea of Techno Buffalo. Thanks, John. Yeah, so John and I pretty much met on YouTube. I know that sounds kind of funny. Um, he was watching some of the videos that I was making for Pocket Now, and I was watching the videos that he was making for his video channel. And we started talking on a regular basis. We, we became pretty good friends. And most of our talking had to do with technology. So we were talking about tech websites and the new technology coming out, new gadgets coming down the line. And we thought about it, and we realized that there was something missing from the whole tech website landscape. Uh, like I said earlier, there's a lot of fantastic tech, tech websites out there, but there's something missing. There's nowhere to go if you want to immerse yourself in technology, if you want to be a tech reviewer, if you want to read about technology on a very in-depth level with tons of video content, and really nowhere to go if you wanted to connect with other people that had similar technology interests of your own, just kind of like John and I did uh, back many months ago. So we came up with this idea of Techno Buffalo that would take a multi-pronged approach to an immersive environment in technology, and that's what we've been talking about in this short video. So that is how the whole idea came about for Techno Buffalo, and now I'm going to turn it over to John for some final remarks. Thanks, Brandon, for that. So I guess the next big question is, when can you get on Techno Buffalo, and when is our launch going to be? Well, we're going to be opening it up to closed beta in the coming weeks, so look for information on that and how you can get involved in the closed beta system, and our launch will be shortly after that. We certainly can't give hard dates quite yet, but we can say that we're looking at launching in the very near future. So I hope you guys are excited about Techno Buffalo as we are. I think it's going to change the landscape of the tech blogging world out there. We saw things getting a little bit stale. Simple text and picture interface isn't, doesn't really show much about a product. If you want to read about something new or a new tech trend, Reading a paragraph and seeing a picture is fine, but it doesn't immerse you in the product. And that's why video is going to be so important to Techno Buffalo. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to stick around for some new Techno Buffalo news and tidbits as it comes out. I hope you guys are excited about it as we are. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.